Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating step-by-step -step installation and configuration of Amanda Backup Solution on CentOS Operating System version 7. Before we go with the installation part of Amanda Backup Solution on CentOS version 7, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is Amanda Backup Software. Amanda, known as Advanced Maryland Automatic Network Disk Archiver is an open source computer archiving tool that is able to backup data residing on multiple computers on a network. It uses a client server model where the server contacts each client to perform a backup at a scheduled time. Amanda was initially developed at the University of Maryland and is released under a BSD style license. Amanda is available both as a free community edition and fully supports enterprise edition. Amanda runs on almost any Unix or Unix-like systems which means it is available for Unix, Linux, Solaris or even Macintosh. Amanda supports Windows system using Samba or a native Windows 32 client with support for open files. Amanda supports both tape-based and disk-based backup and provides some useful functionality not available in other backup products. Amanda supports tape spanning, that is if a backup set does not fit in one tape, it will split into multiple tapes. So it's an intelligent backup solution software. Among its key feature is an intelligent scheduler which optimizes use of computing resources across backup runs. The major stable release is version 3.3.9 which was released on February 10, 2016. So, I have already opened the main website that is called amanda.org and you can find all the information regarding Amanda on this website. Regarding the release notes etc etc, you can even go to the support under wiki, you can download Amanda over here and you can form all the information regarding Amanda from these two links. So I will be starting the installation and all the steps which I will be using in installing Amanda will be available at the below of this video. So let us start CentOS 7 which I have already started and let us log in with root. Let me give the password. So these are the steps which we will be performing. So the steps would be install and configure Amanda backup server, setting the backup parameters, verify the configuration and verify the backup, install and configure the Amanda Linux clients for backup. So before we start with the, the installation of Amanda, let me first of all tell you that we have to prepare the system like in Ubuntu as we do apt-get update, we have to install the EPEL repository on CentOS 7. So make sure before I start with the commands, this is absolutely the new version of CentOS like we have installed five minutes back and I will be starting with the first part. So let us give the first command that is called yum install EPEL hyphen release. So now you can see that it is loaded plugins and in few seconds we will be starting with the installation. So over here it's good. So make it sure that you install repository and then we will be starting. So the latest is version that is 0 colon 7 hyphen 5 will be installed. So rest depends on your quality of the internet connection. So now you can see that the download side is 14K, which means a 14KB file. So I just press Y and press enter. So uh, for security purpose, it is requiring the GPG key. So I press Y, enter, and it has installed the EPL release. So which means now we can start with the installation of Amanda on CentOS 7. So before we install, let us first of all set up the hostname. So let us give this command as hostname ctl set hostname Amanda server, which is very important. Let me paste. So the hostname has been set up. So now let us go to this command. Let us open this file vi slash etc slash host. So make one entry over here. Let us go to the insert mode. So let me first of all have the IP address of this machine with the command ifconfig. So we are using 192.168.1.102. So let me give the IP address. So after that, let me copy this. 
you can provide any name of your choice so good enough so let us press escape and WQ and quit so let us now update the system So now we will be installing the Amanda server. So make it sure that you do step by step. It's very easy to configure, just follow steps. So all the packages will be updated. So quite a lot of package. So it is about 715 MB. So if you want to install it, you can just press Y and press enter. But uh, I will be doing it somewhat later. So I will skip this step. So now let us install the Amanda. So give this command yum install Amanda star so that everything will be installed. So the total download size is about 3.9 MB and install size is 11 MB. So let us press Y and press enter. So it is installing Amanda. So now what we have to do is to install some add-on packages. Let us copy this. everything seems fine so complete so let us install the add-on packages that is xnad that is for telnet gnu plot pearl extend utilities embed so let us press y and press enter it is about 24 mb so it will not take much time to download with my decent internet speed it is downloading fast good so all the packages are downloaded and now let us update the packages and it is installing so after that what we have to do is to start the X in ED service so let us give this command service X in ED restart so let us go to this command also that is system ctl restart x init d dot service so let us find the status that is service x init d status so it is saying that is it is active and running and it is started working so it is good enough so now what we have to do is to verify the amanda installation so am admin space minus minus version so you can see that the a am admin that is 3.3.3 .3 has been downloaded and it has been installed so now what we have to do is to go to the step 3 with amanda configurations so let us make some directories that is mkdir space minus p space slash amanda space slash etc slash amanda so after that let us change the owner CHOWN, let me copy this for you so that we can save some time. So the owner has been switched off. So now let us uh, switch the user to Amanda Backup user. So let us give this command SU space Amanda Backup. So SU. Amanda backup so let us leave the switch it's wrong so let us go with these commands so that we can configure the tapes so give all these commands step by step we are configuring it copy paste and now the next command with the mkdir with the curl info log index 
copy paste now with the final command with this with my config okay good so now what we have to do is to edit the amanda con file with this location that is vi space slash etc slash amanda slash my config slash amanda dot conf let us paste this and let us press enter so what you have to do is to copy whole from over here till the down till here copy it and paste in this editor as such no need to make any change so let me just type this name over here org okay so let us save this file wq that is quit so now what we have to do is to add a disk list file with a single disk list entry DLE. The disk list file determines which disk will be backed by Amanda and the file contains include file directives or disk list entry. General usage was to describe a DLE as a partition on file system. So let us copy this and let us paste it and type the following over here like I have seen over here. Copy paste good so now let us save this file with colon wq and now let us check the amanda configuration with this command that is am check so you can see that the amanda has been started so let us run the test backup it will take some seconds but it will not show you any output So if you want to see the output, let us copy this file. And if it shows zero, so no output. So which means that it will, it has configured appropriately. So let us go with this uh, command with the report. So you can see that the report is there. So test time, run time, tape backups, everything is there. So now let me show you how to uh, do some backup scheduling so let us use this cron tab and paste it and now let us paste these two files so that it will automatically take the backup every day so let us go with the insert mode and let us paste it good so press escape colon wq so this with this we have installed our amanda backup everything so let us go with this command for installing the amanda backup client you can install it onto your client machines but over here i can just show you in my server so let us come to this and paste the file so amanda package has already been installed so in this video, I have demonstrated how to install Amanda backup server on CentOS 7. It's a very good backup solution. Do give this a shot and make it sure that you do the latest version because rest other versions have some security and some backup exploits. So thank you so much for watching.